Now, if I click on this link here, we'll go straight to the newly created project called Webcast Demo 123. And as you can see here, this is more like a typical stage gate model for projects. Initiate, business case, execute, and so forth. Uh, what is cool about uh, Power Apps and Power PPM is that we can also have a dynamic stage gate model. Now, this means that if you click here, you can have a, a trigger, for instance, uh, a budget uh, constraint or similar, that will automatically set uh, an approval for yes or no. So if it says yes, you will see a gate approval popping up. And a gate approval in this case means you need a, a, an approval by somebody in your organization and also a comment for why they approved it and when they approved it. Here we rely on Teams as well and a, a, a standard out-of-the-box uh, approval flow that uh, Microsoft offers to, to their users. So we have a dynamic approach to stage gates. You can also have uh, the ability to select your own stage gate. So you can have a large, small, medium-sized, whatever project types. Um, but let's just follow on the one we have right here and look at the options we have as a project manager. First of all, once we create a project, we can have it also create a Microsoft Teams site and a channel and a SharePoint file container. Um, so that's just, we'll get back to that, but it's nice to know that it's integrated deep into the Microsoft Teams uh, backend. Then we have, of course, lots of fields we can use. Just as an example, if I select, for instance, Carsten as the sponsor for this project, we are looking and using uh, the data from the Azure AD, which means that everything we have around Carsten is available here as well, which is great. So it's not just the name, it's actually very rich information about the person. We can also set the status of this project to active, for instance, and we can add um, another description if we need to. Further, we can add, for instance, a steering group with uh, this guy and maybe myself as well and so forth. On the right-hand side, we then have the portfolio, so we can link it to a certain portfolio or create a new portfolio if we have the, the rights to do it, but let's take the grow portfolio. We could attach it to a program. Let's take this one. We could also categorize the type of investment based on different types of, um, yeah, of investments. In this case, it's following the, the Gartner zero prioritization approach. Let's say it's a growth type. And then again, if it's uh, born out of the strategy, then typically, we flag the project as an OKR initiative, which means that we always have to select the right KPI or the key result uh, that it links to. Later on, we can attach benefit plans and, and the realizations of those benefit plans, uh, which is another demo. So let's try and hit save now. Here we go. Now notice we also have a status which has not been set. We cannot set it here. We need to go to the status area up here. I'll do that in just a second. And we have the start and the end date, which is the approved timeline. So this is like the minimum schedule information coming from the steering group. 